Right, so the crowds behind us are all surrounding what we're told is Vin Diesel's new car. Welcome to Sports and Touring, and as you know, we're all still on lockdown, which means there isn't an awful lot we can do in terms of filming right now. However, luckily, we have collected quite a lot of footage over the last year that so far is unseen on the channel. Today, we're going to have a flashback to Fuel Fest UK, which happened in August 2019. Now, Fuel Fest was one of the biggest car shows in the summer last year, a Fast and Furious themed event organised by Tyrese Gibson and Cody Walker. Now, Tyrese Gibson, you'll recognise as one of the main actors from the franchise, and Cody Walker was the late Paul Walker's brother. Paul Walker being one of the main stars of the show from the original film. We went along and today we want to share that with you. So we're finally parked at Fuel Fest. Uh, some of the cars we saw coming in were amazing. Did you see anything that was uh, in particularly interesting to you? Yeah, I've seen quite a few nice cars, so I'll have a look at them later, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to today. We were checking out a few Lamborghinis, and some of the modified cars here are absolutely epic. So many amazing film cars around us, some cars from the Fast and Furious franchise. Some cars from other movies such as Bullet and uh, Gone in 60 Seconds. has been shipped over from all over the world actually and uh, brought here. It's also cool how they've got a DMA DJ on the decks today. So behind us is one of my all-time dream cars. It's a Mercedes SL65 AMG. It's got a uh, twin turbo V12 so wide and ridiculous. These are the AMGs that I love when they were just putting ridiculously wide arches on their cars and making them look absolutely awesome, giving them ridiculous amounts of power and torque. Um, yeah, one of my all-time dream cars. They've gone up in value so much now, um, almost like the SLS. Um, but yeah, absolutely gorgeous. I love the just the look of it. It just looks so aggressive and so angry. I don't understand how it can fit on UK roads, but. It's just an absolutely awesome car. Wicked. So behind us is one of my dream cars from when I was a kid. I didn't dream as big as Damani, I don't think, because uh, this is just a Ford, but it's not just a Ford, it's a Ford Escort Cosworth. And, uh, you know, when I used to see these things driving around with that giant wing on the back, I used to look at it and just stare and say, one day, one day. So we just bumped into Rory, Head of Business Development for Truro and if you haven't heard about the app, it's an app where you can actually both rent out your car and rent a car. Uh, so Rory, tell us a bit about how it's going for Truro in the UK because it's pretty exciting. Yeah man, it's awesome. So we launched last September uh, in the UK in 2018. Uh, we have about 7,000 people who have listed their cars now in the UK, uh, which is amazing because 
Tour is the Airbnb of cars, and Airbnb like paved the way for this idea of sharing your stuff with other people. There's actually a huge number of people who are willing to rent their car out because they can cover all their monthly payments by renting their car. And so what we've done is we've created this thing called Car Up, where Turo allows you to rent your car out for 500 pounds a month. And you can actually afford the car that, of your dreams. Like, you know, you can upgrade to whatever you want because your monthly payments are covered by renting your car out. So yeah, That's we have about 100, 140,000 users in the UK now within less than a year. Um, and people are like starting their own rental businesses on Turo. They're buying new cars, they're putting them on, they're realizing they're making money from these cars. And the reason I found out about this was through uh, certain YouTubers like uh, Supercars of London, Paul Wallace. I saw when he went out to LA, he rented, I think it was a BMW M6 through yeah. your app, and that's how I first found out about it. You can choose the car that you want, like it's all convenience through an app. You can find like a supercar on your street or nearby, so it's convenient. The price is about 30% cheaper than traditional car rental, yeah. and, and you can just pick the model that you want. Yeah, and I can see you even have uh, like pick up and drop off at LAX and like at airports. You can get cars delivered for free yeah. to LAX. You can arrive, pick up the key, so it's you know more convenient than traditional car rental, and you get the car of your dreams, and it's cheaper. And download the Truro app. Link in the description. Uh, make sure you check it out. Loads of cars available in the UK. I've seen some awesome cars in there that I'd love to drive. So we're walking along. World's a small place, bump into, well, in fact, we didn't even bump into him. All we see is this guy turning around. I'm like, I don't know who this guy is. He's looking around. He was like, Damani! And I'm like, are you famous or something? It turns out he's one of his mates. So this is Jamal. Yeah, it's Jamal. Uh, we used to work together uh, last year for like around a year or so. Yeah, oh, yeah, we, yeah stayed good mates since. Uh, I, think I wasn't expecting to see him today. He bumped into us. So yeah, it's been wicked. What, what would you say your favorite car here today? Favorite car? It might be a 350Z, the purple one. Like wrong answer, wrong answer. Should be the white 370Z Nismo. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a really great day here and the energies and the vibes. It's great. All right, so the crowds behind us are all surrounding what we're told is Vin Diesel's new car. Absolutely beautiful. I got a chance. I had to like squeeze in uh, to everyone in the crowd, but I got a chance to look at it. Absolutely beautiful. Looks like it's twin turbo. It sounded absolutely amazing. And uh, the paintwork was beautiful. The way it's, uh, there's so much carbon on the car, on the door sills, on the rear bumper, and also uh, on the front, the front hood and the front fenders are all carbon fiber, but they blended the paintwork in so it blends to black. Without, I almost didn't even notice it was that that smooth. So yeah, I love it. I love that effect. Yeah, I love it. It looks gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful car. There's an absolutely crazy car behind us. It's a Lamborghini Aventador SV. But it's owned by an Instagram model and cars and cloaks here wrapped in the black vinyl wrap and then applied Swarovski crystal. It took hours and hours, like a thousand hours all in to actually prepare this car. Now, it's not to our taste, not to our taste, but you got to admire how much work has gone into making this what it is. And uh, that's like, supposed to cool thing about the car community. Everyone gets to express themselves. Um, obviously, we would express ourselves differently, but, uh, but you've got to admire the work that's gone into this. Absolutely incredible. behind us uh, it's getting to the end of the day this used to be full of cars but now there's barely got any of them any left uh, it's been an absolutely awesome day here at Fuel Fest one of the best car events I've been to um, in the UK for sure 
absolutely amazing. Got a uh, very much an American car festival vibe to it. Awesome cars, awesome people, and just great vibes in general. And I just really liked the kind of blend of entertainment, cars, live music. It was really good. It was kind of like a festival vibe but uh, all crammed into one day. It's been an absolutely awesome day. Make sure you follow us on Instagram as well and Facebook at Sports and & Touring and we'll catch you guys in the next video.